You're watching Cooking with Future Storm. Good afternoon, everyone. Ever since I was sent to the past inadvertently a couple months ago, I've been bored. Present Storm does all the adventuring, so why not? Today, I'm going to show you how to make pizza. Always remember to wash your hands before preparing and serving food to others. But as for a hat and an apron, I don't need it. I'm Future Storm, and I'm raw dogging this hoe. Here are the ingredients that you will need. First, three and a half cups of flour. You can use bread flour, but I've learned that if you do, your pizza's gonna taste like bread. Next, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one packet of yeast, one and one and a half cups of warm water, and two tablespoons of olive oil. That is for the pizza dough. For the rest, you'll need more olive oil, tomato sauce, I just call it Templar blood, shredded mozzarella cheese, Tillamook cheese is made in Oregon, so I'm supporting my former local economy, your various toppings, hopefully I'll have enough pepperoni after I get done eating the individual slices. Pesto, I won't be using this because I don't even know how to apply it to pizza. And cornmeal. Also, I think it's important to have four individual bowls. In the largest bowl, add the warm water. I can never get warm water to come out of my sink, so I have to go to the washer. Then, sprinkle in the yeast and let it sit for five minutes. Interesting fact about yeast. This stuff is actually alive. That's why it's got an expiration date. Now when working with it, make sure you don't have any cuts on your hands and fingers. If you get some yeast in there, it might get infected. After the five minutes, you can add in your flour, salt and sugar, and the two tablespoons of olive oil. Mix well with an electronic mixer. Right about now, I wish I had a dough hook because the next step is kneading the dough. This is going to make operating a camera incredibly difficult. Knead the dough for 10 minutes. Afterward, you'll have elastic dough and really tired fingers. I need to get this dough off of my hands. Lightly coat your next to largest bowl with olive oil and put your dough inside of that. Roll it around so it's completely covered in oil, much like I wish I could be on most Friday nights. You're going to want to cover this up and then put it in a warm place between 75 and 85 degrees and keep it there for about an hour and a half. But since it is February in the desert of Reno, it's hard to find a warm place. I decided to improvise. I placed my bowl in front of a floor heater and set that to 80 degrees. Of course, that causes me another problem, since all the wiring in my house is jacked up whenever I plug that thing in, my lights flash. So I gotta turn those off. Now's a good time to do another part of preparation, like saute your mushrooms. Also, preheat the oven to 450. <laughs> After the dough has been sitting for an hour and a half, open up the lid and teach that dough a lesson! Yeah! That dough's never gonna backtalk again. This doesn't taste like cookies. Well, of course it doesn't. That's uncooked pizza dough. Ah! Uh, moving on. Take your dough, split it in half, and put it into the two smaller bowls. This is because this recipe yields two pizzas. I guess you could cut your ingredients in half and only make one, but it's pretty hard to split a packet of yeast and save it for later use. Let these sit for 10 minutes. This is where the concept of me having a cooking show sort of falls apart. To properly cook homemade pizza, you need a pizza stone, and I don't have one of those. So we're going to be doing all of our business on a cookie sheet. Oh, I never want cookies again. Sprinkle some flour onto your surface and then plop the dough on top of it. This is where you get to push it out into a big circle, or in my case, like a circular table with the ends cut off. Add flour as needed. You can let the dough relax and then come back to it five minutes later. Once your pizza has taken shape, get out your olive oil for about the bazillion time and then spread some on the top of it. This will separate your toppings from your dough. Next, you can spoon on your tomato sauce. Be sure to add lots of cheese to support Oregon's economy. And then add on your pepperonis. Oh, one too many. Better eat that one. I did saute some mushrooms, but I don't know how they turned out because, well, I cooked them in the dark. For those who are wondering about the cornmeal, psych! Now, utilizing widescreen, place your pizza in the oven. Let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's see how it turned out. Looks delicious. Now we just gotta find somebody to serve. Hey Storm, want some giant malformed pizza? Uh, I never want pizza again. Right, that would be a bad idea. Well, nobody said that I couldn't serve myself. <laughs> ah, those were the days.
God, I hate snow.